What's up? This is Them Jeans. I'm here in LA. I'm going to show you how to chop and screw a song in Ableton. There's a lot of ways to do it, but uh, I've got one. So I'm going to show you for Scratch DJ Academy Watch and Learn. For chopping and screwing, there's a couple elements. The main part is taking a song that you have and slowing it down. That is the, uh, the screwing part of it. There's a lot of ways to do it. Obviously, people do it um, originally with turntables, two turntables. You play one, like a beat faster than the other one and you kind of move back and forth with the crossfader to get a little chopped effect. But um, you can also do it in Ableton with some editing. Usually I will take a song maybe around the 80, 90, 100 BPM range and using Ableton I will move it down to like around 60 beats per minute. That's when you get to a really nice slow level of audio. The chopping part of it is basically just taking you know a, a quarter note or an eighth note or a little chunk of a song and duplicating it or taking it out or slowing it down, speeding it up. So I have a couple songs pulled up here. One of them is Drake, Energy. So I've taken the original song, which is 86 beats per minute, which you can see right here. I have it warped and I have the warp setting set to re-pitch. When you're slowing stuff down in complex mode or something like that, it will uh, make it sound really bad. So if you do a repitch, you won't really lose too much audio quality. So on this track, I've got EQ3 set up and I have an envelope on the low gain. So it's going to be starting off at the beginning of this. It's going to slowly raise up. To, uh, to the full. So I have another song right here that's going to play over the intro and it's going to go into it. So I'll just give you a listen. I got in them, got a, got a lot of enemies Got a lot of people trading me on my energy to try to twig Alright, so what, you, what you'll want to do is grab a little chunk of audio Like a, a cool word, a cool, a cool snare or drum Or kick or clap, or whatever That sounds good And you can just kind of copy and paste it And duplicate it right before it happens Or right after it happens To get that little kind of stutter effect that sounds really good and you the whole point of it is to do these little weird stutters and little shuffles but without missing a beat in the song <clears throat> just kind of kind of let it go and when you listen to a song find a little moment where you have some room to breathe and you can grab that grab little bits of it and duplicate it so like right here alright so right here this bar, I can loop it with Control L in here. I got niggas, I got niggas. So I can take out this I got part, take this N word part, <laughs> loop it, duplicate it, and add it in there, and you'll have a little effect. So, when you're chopping and screwing stuff, you want to really kind of just play around with it, see what sounds good, see what sounds bad. You're going to mess up, you're going to make errors, but the thing about Ableton is if you're not doing weird shit and really kind of flexing it to its potential, there's no point in really doing it than buying this program and spending all that money if you're not really, not really flexing. You could just be doing this with turntables. So, an another part about chopping and screwing I like is pitching the audio down even more. So, this is just a vocal right here that's looping. This part right here. One other thing I like to do is kind of the effect that if you're listening to something on a turntable and you, and you hit stop, the, the vinyl kind of does a little boo, which is, uh, which is a, one of my favorite effects when you're DJing or doing a production. And for that, I have a envelope set on uh, transposition, which is basically just lowering the pitch. And I have it lowered down here to 12. So that's a full octave down. So when you hear it, so when you do that, in order to actually do that, you have to take that part of the song and consolidate it first, because when it's already on repitch mode, it won't do that. So 
you would take this little bit right here this one truck, this one truck, this one. and you're gonna have to separate it so highlight it I give it a little wiggle so it's its own bar and you can hit control J and consolidate it or you can go up to uh, uh, edit and consolidate there so what that does is takes this whole chunk of the song and makes it into this little mini chunk here this one truck, this one and from here transpose set your little envelope down let's move it down 12 and see what it sounds like this one truck, this one so now when you play it all together this one purse this one this this one I bought this one a house I bought this one a mall I keep buying shit just make sure you keep track of it all I got bitches asking me to all right, so when you get to a part that's just a vocal, not a lot of drums going on, it's kind of, uh, it's not very stony. You want everything chopped and screwed to be like something you could do drugs to. So I'm going to add reverb to this. Uh, I like to use forest floor reverb. It's my favorite one. So I will grab my DK. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see that. Uh, grab that envelope for my DK time. Move it down and then set the envelope so right when it's about to hit the vocal the reverb will raise up so when you get to that empty vocal part it'll sound cool Why she just make sure you keep track of it all I got bitches asking me about the call for the Wi-Fi so they can talk about the timeline and show me pictures of their friends just to tell me they ain't really friends ex-girl she the all right so there you go there. I know there's a different part of that. <laughs> so, right here. X girl, X girl. There's another great part we can loop. Grab a chunk, copy it, paste it. Is, just to tell me they ain't really friend. X, X girl, she the female version of me. I got strippers in my... I got strippers, I got strippers. Just keep going through, duplicating stuff, whatever you want to do. in my life, but they verses to me. I have... I'll grab this little chunk right here. Consolidate. It's a whole new track. Grab my envelope. Maybe on this one, I'll start low and move it back up high. It might sound like shit, but it might be cool. We'll see. Verses to me. I hear everybody talking about... Not bad. So uh, the main moral of the story, have fun with it, get weird. Make sure you keep track of it. Use all the reverb if you need to. The for the Wi-Fi, so they can talk about the time. Just do weird stuff on the fly. Show me pictures of their fears, fears. Just to tell me that was bad. Really friend, ex, ex girl, she the female version of me. Just have fun with it. So, uh, enjoy. I hope you like that. Follow me on SoundCloud, you know what I'm saying? Them jeans. Twitter, Instagram, all that. Um, and keep your eyes peeled. I will have a whole Chopped and Screwed mixtape where you can listen to all this stuff. If you want to do it originally, the cool way to do it, get some turntables and some vinyl and do it that way if you want to be a real G, but it's 2015, so we're not going to do that. All right, peace.